guys, it's Blackstone. Betty, in this video, I am showing you my puff pastry party platter. That's two bite-sized puff pastry treats made with the Blackstone griddle, air fryer, and pizza oven. So no matter what you have, you can make this at home. We've got some ham and Swiss pinwheels and some cheesesteak bites. I just know you're gonna love it, so let me show you how you can make both of these at home to entertain your friends and family. crowd, which is what I'm always doing, going for bite-sized finger foods can really help to stretch a buck. I love working with puff pastry because the possibilities are just endless. You'll only need a very little of each ingredient to fill your puff pastry no matter what you're making. Whether it's a pinwheel, a popover, a bite-sized goodie, everyone just seems to love puff pastry. Now when it comes to cheesesteaks, I am from the Philadelphia area and I've showed you guys my video for how I make a traditional cheesesteak here, buying fresh ribeyes, slicing them paper thin with my meat slicer. I make a Cooper Sharp cheese sauce. The recipe is on the Blackstone Products YouTube channel, so be sure that you're subscribed. Click that bell and then you'll never miss any recipes and if you're new to the Griddle Nation, Welcome and be sure to go back and search through all of the recipes on the channel. You will go crazy over all of the ideas that we have for you and your new Blackstone. Now for a lot of you guys, you do not have that shaved or chipped ribeye meat available where you are. Another option around here is going to a good deli and getting some top sirloin already sliced. Usually it comes frozen like these today. You can also use a good ground ribeye or ground beef or any of the brands that you like from the frozen section. I've got my Cooper Sharp American Cheese from the deli. I've got one large sweet onion diced up. So down onto our Blackstone, we'll drizzle a little bit of vegetable oil or olive oil, any oil you like. Down goes your onions, and you want these to cook gently and slowly, just until they become translucent. Season them up with a little bit of salt and pepper, and then since we are using a frozen top sirloin from the deli, we're gonna lay these slices on top of our onions, slowly start to thaw them out. We'll turn up our heat a bit, and using a spatula and a griddle scraper, we're gonna begin to chop up our cheesesteak. Once this is cooked through, now I will season my meat with a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna drop down some of our cheese over the top and let this melt throughout. Pull this off and now get ready to prep these little bites. I've got my puff pastry thawed out overnight in the refrigerator. We'll dust our work surface with a little bit of flour and we'll drop down one sheet of puff pastry. We'll gently roll this out just a bit to stretch it. We'll cut each sheet of puff pastry into nine squares. I've got one egg that I beat together with just a splash of water. We'll brush this on top of each little square and then add a little piece of our American cheese. We'll scoop on a little bit of our meat mixture and then we're gonna fold these squares into triangles. Using a fork along with that egg mixture to seal the edges. I'm gonna pop mine into the refrigerator while we get our pinwheels prepped. Down goes another sheet of our puff pastry rolling this one out. We'll do the same and brush the surface with our egg mixture. And then I've got some beautiful lacy Swiss cheese. We'll do one layer of that. And then I've got some deli sliced ham. You can go for any ham you like. Just be sure to blot this dry with some paper towels. Now it's time to roll this up just like you do cinnamon buns. We'll go over the top of this log with our egg mixture. And then we'll slice these into about one inch pieces. One sheet of puff pastry usually gets me about nine pinwheels. Onto a baking tray these go. Before we get ready to bake these, which we will be cooking in our Blackstone pizza oven, I like to brush the top with some melted butter, adding on some minced dry onion and some poppy seeds. My pizza oven is set to about 325 or 350. In they go, and we'll let them cook until nice and golden brown and puffed up. In the meantime, I've got my cheesesteak bites out of the refrigerator. We'll brush the top of these with that egg mixture. Since my perfect cheesesteak must be on a seeded Lysio roll, I like to add sesame seeds to the top of these. Whether they're white or black or both, it's up to you. A little dusting of our Blackstone cheesesteak seasoning. 
And these are going into our preheated air fryer. I've got this set to medium, which is between 375 and 425. I've got my air fryer drawers lined with our pre-cut blackstone parchment paper. Right before they go in, a little slit across the top just to let that air out. We'll let these cook for about 10 minutes. Jumping over to check on our pinwheels, it's been about 15 to 20 minutes. These look done. I'm gonna pull them out, let them cool off for just a moment. I don't think there's anything prettier than a pinwheel. You can literally add anything you want to the inside of these. Jump back over to our air fryer drawers. These are done, golden brown, perfect. I'm pulling these out. I'm gonna plate these both together, give them a little bit of freshness and pop of color with some chopped parsley all across the top. Now I love serving this up family style on my Blackstone cutting board alongside some spicy sriracha ketchup. One of my favorites, truffle mustard. This I find at Hobby Lobby, believe it or not and my horsey sauce. I show you guys this all the time. Just a little bit of mayo mixed with some fresh prepared horseradish, a splash of lemon juice, and some fresh black pepper. This I love with my cheesesteak bites or my cheesesteak egg rolls. However, all three condiments go perfect with both of these puff pastry treats. Now I hope you guys make these for your friends and family, whether it's in your new Blackstone pizza oven or in your Blackstone air fryers. Have fun getting creative with what you griddle up to fill your puff pastry with. When you do, don't forget to post pictures so that we can see what you are enjoying at home and tag Blackstone products and tag Blackstone Betty when you do. We cannot wait to see. Until next time, I'm Blackstone Betty and I cannot wait to see you guys in the next recipe video. Thank you.